Under the hammer next at Bygone Bygones, we've got this lovely little hall table, telephone table. Originally it would have been a telephone table. Nowadays we've got Roman phones, but then your phone still wants somewhere to live, you know, you still want to house it somewhere. Brilliant though, you can put your phone up at the top of there and you know where it is. And then down here you've got a space for your address book and all your contact details. And then in here, wonderful for your keys. Oh, where are my keys? They're in the drawer, in the on the table, in the hallway. Of course they are. And then down the bottom, maybe a nice Christmas cactus or something. Great little table. I mean, to me, this has got shabby chic potential written all over it because the wood would accept the paint really well. It's got all of these lovely little details, which once you've painted it in your farrow and bowl paint and then rubbed it back, it picks up on all of those. And that's the whole nature of it. You get that kind of French, French waxed look, you know, rub some beeswax into that, the dark beeswax, let it fall into those little creases. Bish, bosh, bobs your uncle. A joy to behold. Now, we think... All of these unscrew, so this will flat pack, which will make it a really nice, easy post out. It has got scuffs and chips and grazes from uh, where it's been used. Useful furniture gets used, but it's in very good condition for its age and use. We do sell things at other places. We have a lot of shabby chic people come and ask us, what have we got that just work well? And I would have to say, this is one of them. If the price is right, we sell it. But we never sell anything that's got an opening bid on eBay. If you want to grab a bygone bargain, get a bid on before it's gone.